Yo, Solo 94. For y'all that don't know, Solo stands for Stand Out, Live On. 94, because that's the year I was born. So I don't hear, oh, you born 94, oh my God, you're young. I don't care. I don't care. All right? Now, <clears throat> I got to touch on something, man. I want to touch on social media and reality. All right? Social media is fun. It, it's a good way to waste time. A lot of time. A lot of time. I'm talking about when you're sitting on the toilet. Instagram. When you ain't on the phone talking to somebody else. Facebook. When you in the waiting room. Instagram. When you, you just, every time you get any free time, you on this damn social media. Looking at somebody else's life, looking at your own life. I don't know, just whatever. What, looking at your own life and trying to reflect on how that looks according to somebody else's life. Instead of just worrying about your own damn life and what you got going on and what you need to be focused on. You focused on what other people think or what other people doing. I mean, this social media shit is crazy. You on a mother, you're on a dang roller coaster. At Six Flags Magic Mountain, and you sitting here recording the roller coaster ride, you're not even enjoying the ride. You 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 do just your first time on the Superman, and you're not even trying to enjoy that moment. You're not even trying to capture the moment. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to capture it on your phone so somebody else can see the moment. You feel what I'm saying? Excuse my shirt being on this shirt. Yeah, the neck kind of messed up, but you're not even enjoying the moment, man. You sitting here trying to capture the moment. To show somebody else. Like that's that's the that's the thing right there. <clears throat> that's why, you know, I, I don't get it. I mean, I you know, I got a social media. I never been just really big on social media, but I it's very addictive and I do I understand. I understand, man. So I'm not sitting here saying you wrong. I'm just saying we gotta shed some light on this. You too concerned to What's going on in that phone, man? Instead of what's going on in your two eyes, you know what I'm saying, outside of the phone. You sitting here in the gym, recording your leg, your legs, going, you you sitting here recording the leg lifts, you're not even getting no real work in. You in the gym, recording yourself work. Let me, hey man, look, answer me this. Do you really think that you are working out to your full potential, right? Hurdling as far as you can while you're trying to record yourself? For somebody else to see. Hell nah. You can't be getting no real gains if you got the phones in the gym with you. And you got the phone active and open right now while you in the gym. It don't make sense. The social media stuff is fake, man. Everything they got going on, you might think this girl is living life. She traveling here, she traveling there. She got all this money and all this and that. Man, dude, that girl wear that outfit every damn wear. She work at she work at a low paying job. You feel me? She not she not doing nothing with herself, man. She making that junk look good. You doing niggas doing the same thing, ladies. I'm not gonna just bash women. Fellas doing the same thing. Hell, I didn't did it. I didn't did it. Every time I go out to town, yeah, I'm out here. I'm out here. I'm doing this and that. I'm making moves. On, I'm actually making moves though, but real, you know what I'm saying. But I have been put on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm gonna take pictures of all my good clothes. I don't wear the outfit more than once. Shoot, I feel like. Once I wear an outfit and take a picture for social media, I can't wear the outfit no more. I give the shoes, I, you know what I'm saying? I sell my shoes. I can't even wear it more than once because I just took a picture of it. That's how powerful this shit is. So, we got to understand that outside of this shit is who you really are and what you really have going on. And that's what you need to focus on. You need to focus on how much money you really have in the bank versus how much money you look like you have in the bank. Because what you look like is not what you really are. And that, that just don't make sense. It don't make sense to continue living like that and continue doing that. Social media is its own little world, man. It's own little world. And it just takes you away from the matrix that you're already in and puts you in a whole nother smaller matrix. It's like you already distracted by everything and don't understand what life really is and then you go and, and put yourself aside this phone and now you really like I'm, you just 
It's a whole nother world. The world of phones and social media, that's a whole nother world, man. You're very distracted. You're really distracted now. Now you really have no idea what's going on. You don't, you couldn't even care less. You too, be, you too busy worried about this girl on the phone and what she look like and what she got going on and how you going to make yourself look good too. So you, you know what I'm saying? You worried about the wrong things. Most of these people broke. They broke. They ain't got no real goals. Their goal is to be on Instagram and Facebook all damn day and get a, get a couple likes. You getting a hundred, couple hundred likes, you live for that shit. You not making no money off that? You not making no money off them couple hundred likes. That 1,000 likes. You ain't got a million followers on Instagram, you ain't doing nothing. You ain't talking about nothing. You ain't got no sponsors, that ain't, that ain't what you doing. I'm not making these vlogs for likes. I'm making these vlogs to give my opinions out, receive some mutual opinions or whatever. I'm looking for a light in my damn self making these videos. I'm not looking for no clout. My YouTube ain't got no views, ain't got no subscribers right now. I just, you know, eventually, I feel like this is going to be seen and people going to be able to reflect. I'll be able to enlighten somebody or somebody going to be able to enlighten me. That's why I do this. Now, in reality, we're not, we not worried about what other people think all the damn time. I don't think that you should be. I don't think that people are really as much as worried about what everybody thinks as they are on social media. Social media, you post a picture, it's about what everyone thinks about that picture. If, if you don't get no likes, you take the picture down. You, you don't get no likes for real, you ain't even going to be on the social media because, you know, people ain't liking it. Or you're going to be trying your best to get people to like it. Like, you you just, everything you're doing is geared towards somebody else's opinion of you when somebody else's opinion shouldn't matter. Should nobody's opinion matter? Your reality should matter. I don't got to post pictures with the Gucci. And I don't got to post pictures in the Louis store. I got, I got a couple hundred, hundred thousand racks in the bank. I don't, I don't got to show nobody nothing. If you get around me, you're going to see. You're going to know. You're going to know by the way I speak, by the things I'm doing, by the hotels I'm staying in. And I don't have to take pictures of it. If you ever get around me and I feel like you're worthy, and we go ahead and, and get a nice little hotel out there in Vegas, then you gonna know. Like, this nigga got money. I don't have to post no picture for you to, to see that. You know what I'm saying? You got social media and you got reality. And the people living on social media, a lot, majority of those people on social media, the lives you see, aren't they realities? And the majority of people on social media are not concerned about their own reality. They can't be. You can't put a certain amount of hours on this social media website, especially if you're not making no money off of it, and be concerned about what you're really doing. Every time you sitting on the toilet and you pulling out your phone to, you know what I'm saying, to, to check your Instagram, you just, all that time you spent on that phone, you could have been having better thoughts about bettering yourself. You could be doing something better. That time you recording yourself in the gym for everybody to see you in the gym, you could have been really going hard, getting some real workout gains, getting real gains. Instead of trying to show people, yeah, I'm trying to get gains. I'm in here. I'm in the gym looking for recognition. That shit don't matter, man. It's about what you know inside and on the outside. It's all about what you what you doing and how much time you putting in to better yourself. What the hell? I don't do this shit. For somebody else to tell me that I'm doing good or tell me that I'm doing bad, I do this for myself. I'm trying to figure out for myself what's going on, what I'm doing, how much, how much, how many gains I done made this week, how much muscle I done put on, how I look compared to these selfies I done took, how I look now from then. That stuff is for me. I'm not in the phones. I'm in my life. Every day I'm looking out these two eyes and I'm not looking into it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not doing that, man. It's a big waste of time. You're trying to please everybody. You can't please nobody, man. Nobody cares. Even if you got famous, somebody's going to hate you, bro, for something. So why are you living for these people on social media when you could be living for yourself? Be in charge of your own reality. Controlling your own perception instead of letting somebody else feel your perception. We got to stop wasting time with these distractions, man. Every time you're on that phone, you could be doing something more productive. All right, look, man. Story time. 
I was feeling like less focused and getting off subject and getting off, you know, my path, right? And what I realized was I had to take a break from Instagram. I had to take a break from social media. This little second life, this little fake life you got, you got to put that to the side and get back to the real life. All right? You got to get back to your real life. You got to reflect on your own, your own perception, your own opinions. You got to, you got to get back to that. I was distracted. I wasn't focused. I just wasn't feeling right. I had to take a break from social media. I would go to sleep at night. And be listening to something on YouTube, whether it was rap battles or, shoot, sometimes inspirational speakers. Just every time, or uh, all these little pranks and these little girlfriend pranks and all that type of stuff. That shit is distracting you. All these relationship goals and shit. You sitting here looking at somebody else's relationship instead of worrying about your own. How you gonna get your own relationship? You sitting here wondering what's the next next up on their life. What's next up on this person's life? You watching House of Hollywood, the Hollywood wives and shit. You worry about what this, what these people going through next. What they arguments about. Instead of creating your own damn arguments. Creating your own damn What you going to do next? How much money you getting next week? How you going to revolve your life around somebody else's life? That shit don't make sense, man. That's some shit I just said. I just can't do. You feel me? I, I just can't. I can't continue to, you know, worry about somebody else's life when I could be worried about my own damn life. So anyway, man, I was all cloudy and everything. I stopped getting on social media and I was still cloudy. And I realized that when you go to sleep, cut the TV off, put the phone up, go to sleep, man. Listen to your thoughts. Listen to yourself. Listen to who you are. Focus. You know what I'm saying? Keep your mind stimulated with your own life, with your own experiences, with your own problems. Reflect on your own problems. What you going to do to fix your own problems with your own opinions, not somebody else's opinions? Reflect on that stuff for yourself. You know what I mean? Things get better, you know. You just got to put time into yourself and into, and into what you want to do and how you feel. And you can't do that. Living for somebody else or trying to live live somebody else's life. Being too concerned with somebody else's life. Worry about your own life. You know what I mean? Anyway, this video getting kind of long, so I'm going to cut it short. There's a lot of people running around kind of messing me. My train of thought up. So, But yeah, man. Stay focused. Be aware of what's going on in front of you, not behind you. And get out that fucking phone, man. Live your own damn life. It's a reality out here. Solo.